Hey everyone, this is Wayne Parker. Man, it's been a lot of years since I actually sat down and narrated one of my art video video processes. Uh, man, I don't have no excuses. <laughs> really, I don't. Other than life. And uh, last time, I was freelancing and I was trying to make that work. Uh, uh, nowadays, not so much. But I do, every now and then, uh, get a chance to paint you know, my personal projects or personal things that I like to do. And I figured it was about time that I kind of uh, got back into the mix of making these little video processes. And so let me just jump right into it. This is, I'm using Procreate with this one. Um, I really like Procreate. I really like using Procreate with the iPad pencil. It's just a dope ass combination. I mean, I really can't stress enough how much it feels like, you know, like when I was a kid sitting down drawing with pencil and paper It's really intimate. Um, so that's what I'm using here for this. And if you saw initially, I had a really sloppy ass, quick, quick, fast, quick, fast ass. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A fucking uh, this ridiculously quick old destroy sketch. And I, I quickly went over that with a on, on a new layer with some lines. And then I proceeded to paint. Initially, I'm trying to paint this guy in color. But it's, it was, it's been a grip since I've actually painted something uh, serious. I mean, I've done little comic book stuff, and but nothing really rendered. And I tried to do it in color at first, and then I bitched out and said I can't do it. <laughs> and went straight to grayscale to try to work out the values and to try to uh, figure stuff out. And like I said, it's been a long time since I actually painted something serious. Um, so I was kind of rusty. So you see me here trying to figure shit out. I'm trying to... I'm working on his face. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, and then it just started coming back to me how I used to smear the, you know, the pencil lines. Because I, I would squash everything into one layer, the lines in the whole nine yards. And then I just would, you know, blur them out and add value and shadow and light as I went. And so once I figured that out, you know, I started trucking. You know, see, I'm, I'm drawing Ape Sapien here. Um, just, this little thing took me longer than I expected, real talk. And normally I'd be done with this, uh, something like this, within a day. But this took a couple because I was, like I said, I was just figuring stuff out. Um, so I hope you guys like my little logo I did it in the beginning. Uh, it was my little little cyborg barbarian character. I'm trying to get uh, better at branding and building myself up, getting my name out there. And I've been doing this stuff for a lot, for a few years now, but I really never um, reached an audience that. And part, mostly it's my fault. It's just been consistency with posts and doing the things I needed to do to garner a following. But now I'm trying to get better with it. And I'm trying to make a more conscientious effort to brand myself. So that's that. So uh, look for more videos. I won't promise that they'll be like frequent as some, you know, someone like you know, Ross Tran or something like that. But definitely I'm looking at making more videos and more process. Uh, tutorials with me narrating it is we're rambling it as best that I can okay you see here I'm adding a lot of the details um, I'm trying to you know right there I was just uh, adding textures to the skin to give it a more realistic feel um, just trying out different brushes different skin brushes that I've collected and created and then I'm off to the next and then repeat the same process so it's it's very simple uh, like I said it was it's a rough sketch very rough sketch to get the the, the, the major parts and the major block uh, the, the anatomy right. You know, refine the lines of the new layer. Um, uh, gray, put add a gray layer to it. Squash everything down. Add the shadows and then start smearing those black lines around with the blender brush. Um, you know, blending them into the shadows. You know, lightening the lines up. I'm sure it's a better process, but that's the process that I've used to paint you know all these years and it seems to work because I kind of try to go for a realistic slash comic style look I don't know if I pull it off but that's the look I'm going for uh, I apologize for the quality of the sound I'm actually recording this on my iPad so I don't, you know I don't have a microphone or nothing like right now I'm just speaking right into the iPad so it might have a little you know clock radio speaker kind of a tint to it <laughs> But uh, you know, just hopefully you'll be you'll be able to make out what I'm saying and you can hear, you know, what I'm trying to narrate here. 
Um, the music in the background, if you're curious, is because it's kind of creepy as hell. I'm sure a lot of people are like, what the fuck is that shit? Uh, that's from the motion picture Dagon. Um, it's kind of a, it's an H.P. Lovecraft interpretation or a, you know, a, a take on, um, I forget the name of that freaking story. But, oh, man, I know what it is. I can't think of what it is right now. But anyway, it's, it's a take on a Lovecraft story. And I, I like the soundtrack. It's very creepy and otherworldly. Since Ape Sapien, technically speaking, is the son of Dagon, if you read the comics, I figured it was a, it would fit the process video tutorial with me narrating over top of it. I should have did that shit in a creepy voice, you know, like, a, like a Vincent Price voice or something like that. <laughs> All right, as you can see here, I'm working on the other uh, frog creature. Yo, if you haven't read, if you haven't read that BPRD um, frog, you know, uh, War of the Frog series, that shit is dope. You need to read that ASAP. Matter of fact, read all of Mike McNola's stuff. Hellboy, BPRD, Ape Sapien, um, The Lobster. All of them. All of them are really dope. Just if you get a chance, read those stories. All right. Looks like I'm about done here. I just got to knock this last frog out. It's been a pleasure, guys. Hopefully it won't be so long next time. Um, and look for me soon. Take care.